Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. We are playing the Space Delt DLC and we are on the LV426, a collection of asteroids out in the middle of nowhere where we are taking... Ooh, 11 duplicates into the future. For the past couple of episodes, we have been concentrating on Sharubi here. We've been trying to make it into a livable habitat. We've just about managed to settle the food situation out, and we're going around slowly sweeping up the entire area. But the water is our downfall. As you can see, our water, uh, water tank here has been slowly draining out. That is mainly because most of our food is coming from mush bar. It's not a great source of food to be having, and now that I take a moment to have a look, we should probably bump that up a little bit more. The duplicates do not like to eat the concoction of water and uh, we should probably try and find them something else. But we need to try and secure a much better water source before we can do that and my uh, my water source of choice is actually going to be ethanol. Not ethanol itself because this actually only produces polluted dirt and carbon dioxide but we will be able to burn the ethanol in a petroleum generator in the petroleum generator here uh, and this will output carbon dioxide and polluted water. The polluted water of course we can uh, clean up and take over to the water tank. I've just noticed that we've still got water running into our aluminium taming volcano over here which we managed to work on uh, last time. It took a little bit of damage because we didn't quite have enough water in when I was trying to clear stuff out but now I think we are more than uh, full of water. In fact I'm a little bit worried about having a steam explosion here so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of connect these up to our water tank and we can stop put, just dumping this into there. We also have one more problem that I really need to address before we can get on with the ethanol distillery. I'm actually going to deconstruct this one. We'll put it somewhere else. And that is the ever-increasing amount of hydrogen up here. We don't have a proper oxygen supply on the go. We have just got a wild electrolyzer out in the middle of nowhere, currently producing enough oxygen for our duplicants to breathe, but unfortunately also producing an absolute excess of hydrogen. I think we can set up something in the corner over here to make this a little bit more of a viable system. We'll have a gas pump and a hydrogen generator, a whole bump, bunch of, elect, uh, of automation to make it work. But first we need to rearrange this uh, power transformer and smart battery. Uh, we've got a little bit of a flow priority situation here where we've got a green guy in between two whites. Uh, it didn't know which way to flow, so just a small rearrangement of the pipe should hopefully keep water flowing in the direction we want it to be going. Small spillage, nobody's got the plumbing skill yet. Uh, it's great to watch this work and we are actually getting enough steam through that the steam turbine starts working. We're only at 107 degrees. We've got to be at least 125 for the steam turbine to actually turn over. So that's pretty cool. I don't think we're going to have all of the water turning to steam for a little while yet. Uh, in the background, I've just got a little bit of an infinite storage dump to set up over here. We were dumping everything down here, but if we have a look at the decor, it's, oh man, a minus 539. Most of that coming from oh from heavy watt wire 139 from the debris though we should really sort out another power spline at some point somewhere else that we just run a power line down uh, and keep the duplicates away from it but up here you can see that i have duplicated out the power transformer let's go through and get ourselves a bit of a destruction on the go i want all of this to go no oh, excuse me i want all of this to go probably not the uh the drywall in the back there, aren't they? Okay, with the space we have just cleared ourselves out, I'm going to get a little gas pump here. We're going to pop that down there. We want also to have a bit of automation. We need a gas element sensor, and I'm going to pop that all the way down over here. I want it quite a distance away from the pump because we... We want, to, we want to make sure there's a lot of hydrogen here, right? We don't we don't want this to be like hydrogen to here and then a bit of oxygen and then that will fl flow in and cause some problems. We've, we've all seen this problem arise before, so we're, we're going to do it like this. Of course, the next very obvious question is where do we burn the hydrogen? I could put this out here. I did think about it very briefly, but there's no way to cool down the generator when we do that. So we'll just end up with a, a very vicious runaway effect where the hydrogen generator is burning hydrogen and making more and more heat for itself and thus uh, causing in all sorts of troubles probably a meltdown so i'd really like this to be built so we can drop a hydrogen generator in here and then it can keep itself passively cooled from all the uh all the liquids being processed in here i think that might be a winner of course this is going to mean that one of our duplicates is going to have to come on come on down around the outside climb up and over and then try and do all of this via the power of ladders i i don't know how well that's going to go but here goes hicks anyway Oh, no, no, and he's running away, almost immediately running away. I wonder how, recovering breath, I wonder how he's going to do it then. There's so much hydrogen up there, I'm not sure. 
I've restricted access through there. That means he's not going to be able to get over. Let's first put this here. So he's coming from an oxygenated environment only. Let's see if that works. Also, there is another problem brewing down here. If I have a look at the gas overlay, we've got a bunch of carbon dioxide at the bottom, which means we are not killing any of the germs. We need to figure out a way of getting the gases back out of here. It's going to need a complete rearrangement of the liquid shelf valve. I'm almost certain we'll bring this liquid up this way. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Okay, we've got enough food and stress in the bank. I'm going to go ahead and say, guys, I, I really want this done right now, please. This, of course, will get everybody on the situation, regardless of any tasks that need to be done. This might even mean that they're going to wet themselves out in space. I'd rather they did it in space than inside the base, though. If they did it outside in space, the, all, all the liquids and gases that are exposed to the vacuum slowly dissipate. I say slowly, quite quickly uh, evaporate into the waste of space. Oh, this is great. Sir, Do Sir Dr. Captain Subs Esquire the second really going to town on that build there. Brilliant. Ah, uh, cycle 666, and look what I'm doing to them, all out in the vacuum of space. I may have slightly got the uh, the pro uh, proportions of this box wrong, so I've taken out this tile here and uh, dragged it down one. That's enough to now fit the, it's in here somewhere, the hydrogen generator right there. But let's have a quick look around on cycle 666. Is anyone having some bad times? We've got some building entombment. We know that uh, it is the the liquid vent up here but i do think everybody looks like they're having a good time over here it seems like a good time to have a look this of course your killed place where we produce the oxygen uh it's going down very well over here what have we got we got some stickers ah oh, that's great everyone must be having a good time if there's stickers no stress no uh, germs and over 100,000 calories that's great tyrannu 71,000 uh, calories no stress one germ Randoms are, randomers has got food poisoning. Interesting. Uh, one thing I have noticed is sometimes when this gets disabled, uh, Jupe can get, get stuck depressurizing. It's not happening here. This is a bit of a runaway uh, situation here. We need to try and figure out a way to clear our carbon at some point down here. But it's so hot, everything we build melts. So I'm just I'm waiting for the the steam that comes down. Steals the power, uh, steals the heat, and then uh, brings it up here to condense. That's that's the situation we're looking for there. Of course, there are other alternatives. Anyway, back at Sharubi, they look like they've nearly done. Oh, great, awesome. Oh no, gold is appearing out of nowhere. Where's that gold coming from? Oh dear, it's the rail set. Oh no, we are. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. So because they went over the actual volcano, they must have been exposed to some of the aluminium that was coming out at 1,700. And this was melting my gold amalgam and turning it into actual gold. Whoa. That is really bad, though. <laughs> I've got no steel left. Mmm. Oh, we've run out of iron. The, ah, this is a this is a bigger problem. <laughs> okay, so back on the oil asteroid, we have a bunch of iron ore here. So let's uh, let let's fr try and find it in the list. Wow, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Running out of iron. Right, everyone's already on it. Let's see what's going on. Randomers, you do not look good. You you say you've only got one batch of uh, food poisoning though. Okay, so because the steam engine uses so much steel, and steel is what we're after, we're going to go for the carbon dioxide engine instead. We've got a whole bunch of copper ore. Let's build one of those. We're going to make a very small rocket, because literally all we want to do is make a delivery of steel and then send someone back. Maybe, maybe get the... Uh Get some space science on the way as well. If we come into the research, there's something that I really would like to get. This high velocity transport. I think this would be a wonderful for sending uh, equipment back and forth between bases. There is a problem though. There is a problem. You might notice that we've only done yellow science. We've not actually done any green science at any point, And we don't actually have the ability to do. Here it is. This, this, this is what. I'm just, just going to set that going. I was expecting to find randomers on the computer, but all right, error. That that's fine. Is randomers going to go down and do our little research station down here? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we got we got some research underway. Let's come back to your kill and have a look and see. How, have we got this working? Uh, pe people will get round to it, I'm sure. Aha, we've got a steel smart battery here. We could swap that out as well. It looks like something also was made of steel in the uh, in the polluted water clear up area over there. Okay, let's uh, let's swap this one out. Deconstruct it. Highest priority, please. And we have a whole bunch of aluminium to replace it with, so that that's good. That's good. It's it's kind of using the product to secure more product. Yeah, that's good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's exactly all the steel we had. I'm willing to go with this. 
as an, uh, a layo, yeah, yeah, an overlay, sorry. We don't have a field researcher. Uh, that, that's fine, that's not the one I'm looking at, sorry. We don't have a mechatronics engineer, bigger problem. So who are we going to send insane? Are we going to do it to uh, Hicks? We're going to bring them down to mechatronics engineer here, putting them a full four or five morale points over, or do we do it to Dr. Captain Subs? Go into it. Let's let's do it. Let's do Doctor Captain Sub. Great. Okay. There. there. Now the next question is: Can we get in here without flashing everything to steam? That's a big question. Okay. Hicks is down to destroy. I think. I think that's what's going on. All right. Great. This is good. This is good. I'm wondering whether these guys here need replacing as well. But we don't. We don't have the steel, so that's that's probably not going to happen. Double liquid lock has just formed. Okay. That that's cool. I'm I'm about that. I'm about that. Uh, next, I would. Really, really like Dr. Captain Subs to get down here. In fact, I would like everybody to get down here. If you've got the ability to carry steel, bring some steel down here. Okay, that's all the rail in place. Let's close her back up, hopefully. Like that. Maybe this will do well for us. I don't like the way the water has been turning to steam whilst we're in there. That's that's very bad. That's very bad indeed. Oh, look. Oh, no. It, the, the hops nearly get quicker, guys. Quicker. Okay, next time we are definitely going to have to pour some more heat-resistant liquids in here. Maybe petrol, because it can go up to immense high height. We're just going to make sour gas like that, right? This is not set up right, and I cannot remember how I set it up right. <laughs> Okay, so I've re-put down the command to fix it to how it was, but we do not have the steel to go ahead and do that. Uh, in fact, this conveyor bridge is out gold amalgam. We do not want that. Uh, so at some point, I will bust back in there to do it, but it's working. It's working at the moment. It's picking up items. It's finding out whether they're hot or cold and shunting them outside if they are cold. This this is fine. We'll 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 live with that. It might be cycling items around a little bit more than it needs to, but it it, it it's fixed. Okay, this should now be slowly but surely burning off all the hydrogen that we're picking up here. Does this mean that we're going to start retreating back into here with the hydrogen? I sure do hope so. Oh my gosh, that's that's what I'm aiming for. I can report a mastery over gases. What we've done here is put a gas element sensor down in the bottom right. This is where all the heaviest gases like to come down and uh, co uh, congregate. This has, meant, this has meant that I've had to move this doorway that was from here up and in through here. It gives us a nice little vertical shaft system to move up and down through this little very workable part of the base over here. Uh, so this picks up any idea of uh, carbon dioxide. What I probably should have done is not chlorine, but we'll go with carbon dioxide for now. If it picks up the carbon dioxide, it turns this mini gas pump on. That passes it up to an uh, element sensor. If it picks up any chlorine, it drops it out. This is for two reasons. One, we can't trust the, the gas pumps, but two, we're also feeding in this mess of gases from down here. So if it picks up carbon dioxide, uh, picks up chlorine, it drops it. Anything else just gets dumped in the mess hall here for it to drip down through here. We should probably turn these into airflow tiles. Let's do that quickly now. I mean, I say quickly now, however long it takes for them to actually... No, wait. Bad idea. <laughs> I just realised that this, this is our mushroom file. No, we're not, we, we don't want the carbon dioxide to flow any lower than this. This is, this is good. This is, this is exactly what we want here. <laughs> So any excess carbon dioxide comes, sits on top of this cloud of carbon dioxide, goes through these airflow tiles underneath the power transformer, and then proceeds its downwards journey to wherever the carbon dioxide gets dealt with. At some point, we'll figure that out. We need to do that uh, over at this area as well. Remember when I was talking about how we needed to uh, do the ethanol distilleries? Here we go. Four ethanol distilleries, one petroleum generator. We're slowly climbing up this side of the map, trying to claim back from the vacuum of space, the land that was once ours. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of tiles here and just kind of put in a little corridor going that way. I, I feel like this this feels like a good place to go. We've uh, managed to draw out most of the water, water from this little puddle that we had going on here and I'm just going to continue the job going across that we've got. I really would like to deal with all this polluted oxygen at some point. We're just uh, dangerously short of any sand or other filtration medium, which is uh, its a shame. The only way I know to do it is to cook up a load of dirt. That's, that's a multi-stage process. I mean, we do have something very hot right here. Yeah, turn dirt into sand at 326. Let's call it 327 degrees. Mm, that, I mean, that is a high temperature, but we, we have access to that over here. Saying that, we, we kind of don't because our thermal aquatuna would overheat 
which also really needs to be repaired at some point when that rocket gets sorted out when we get a whole bunch of steel on the other other rock land we, we need to turn to the turn to the stars and figure out where we can get ourselves a whole bunch of iron. Looking at Dr. Captain Subs' stressometer over here. You can see he's doing okay, but he's only he's being quite negatively affected by the soggy feet. Of course, he took the biggest hit when we gave him the mechatronics engineer skills. He didn't have the uh, nice enough surroundings to support such a high level of learning. So he was like, no, I'm going to lose all my temper about it all. He did absolutely fine uh, once we scrubbed him, uh, but now we're trying to get the stress down as quick as possible, which when I follow him, uh, takes it to about 20, but the biggest problem we've got is the soggy feet. So I've gone around and improved the priorities of all the mop skills that he can go around and fix his own problems. Uh, there are many religions that say that, they, uh, that those that help themselves are got the path to greatness, and uh, here we go, he's doing it. He's making his world a better place. So I've just found out that we've got a problem that's held up our research. If we come in here, you can see that the novice research is being held up. Oh, somehow it's taken me all the way to the top here. This is in I can't, I can't, I can't exit. But if we come down and have a look at our novice research station down here, I mean, this one's saying it's okay, but that's because there's no scientist here. If we come over, come over to Tyrannu, totally what I meant to do there. Uh, this one is like, uh, excuse me, I don't have any dirt. I'm like, really? We don't have any dirt? So I did a quick search in here. You can see dirt zero kilograms okay well let's go over to your kill where we're making loads of dirt via the cop oh look at the composters let's have a look in here dirt zero oh no our hatches have been eating it all like literally all of it so i'm switching over to bog jelly maybe there'll be enough there to 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 feed them i don't know i mean most of our food comes from barbecue so yeah let's have a look swampy delights as well let's, let's feed these guys swamp swampy delight okay let's see if that does it anybody on the errands not at the moment ripley great Okay, so that solved our consumption of dirt issue. I should really have got round to doing that sooner. Uh, there's there's no need for our duplicates to eat the swampy delights. We're, we're all on barbecue now, I think. <laughs> well, I guess we'll wait and see if any polluted dirt gets turned into dirt and then can get researched. That that would be nice if we could. Oh, look, this has got a bunch of, research, uh, bunch of dirt in it. So right now I'm a little bit worried about how we're going about digging this. If I was to just quickly dig out this tile here, I've got a feeling I would then expose some space. Oh, I think we're doing okay actually. I'm really worried about when these ones get taken out. I've got a feeling Hicks is yet going to come along up here. Hopefully he'll do these first. Let's uh, let's up those priorities along here. Of course we don't want to get the actual um, buildings, but we do want to get the, the, the tiles, the airflow tiles. And we shouldn't be losing too much oxygen, we hope. Oh no, he's going up and doing some more ones. Okay, we'll we'll go with these ones across here then. Okay, good 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 shout, mate. We'll we'll do them line by line, surely. <laughs> all right, here's the big problem: is when we open up this area up here, all our gases are just going straight to the vacuum. We need to d build up these uh, these dry walls as quick as possible. But of course, they're also stealing all the oxygen, so it might take a while. If you're wondering where I knew to put the uh, the drywalls down, uh, you can see this igneous rock has space exposure as its last little property there. This block does not, so I would need to cover these guys up, but not these ones, like so. Despite best efforts, we've got a bit of drywall that's not gone in overnight. We are definitely going to be hemorrhaging some vacuum there. Oh man, look at it. Yeah, we, we, we are losing gases. Thankfully, it's just polluted oxygen, so maybe it's a whole bunch of germs as well. Not a great deal, James. Well, we knew it would happen at some point. That load of water has dripped out. It's come down the slopes here. It's collecting down the bottom. I'm really tempted to punch through and let it just go freeze down here. It's like minor stuff down. Wow, it's it's really cold in here. The dirt, not so cold though. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'd like to continue the power line down this way. Uh, let's get some ladders going down. Is, is this acceptable? <sighs> Not without breathing masks, surely. <laughs> Put the crude mechanics in for dealing with the polluted water coming out of the petroleum generator and also a bunch of carbon skimmers to deal with the fact that all of these, absolutely every single one of them, produces carbon dioxide. Uh, so we're going to need to be able to clean that. I hear this is actually half as much as what we need. Uh, I can expand out, that's fine, that's no problem, but if it does get overwhelming we know what the original uh, problem is going to be. Uh, I also wanted to then drop a ladder right there pneumatic door ladder we can then jump down onto this hopefully i think uh that should then give us a uh, constant access because you know stuff stuff goes wrong all the time 
Okay, tomorrow morning, let's see if we can get this bit of wire put into place here. It's a hugely hazardous trip, so I'm not sure whether they're going to actually get to it or not, and I, I want to know. Another thing is I want to carry on this power line all the way down here, but of course we've got a ridiculous radiation source here, so... Um, it's actually causing us some trouble inside the base. Maybe I'd like to build a bit more of a wall here. Something like this. Will that work? I don't know. Okay, Hicks doing the thing. Off he goes. Going to climb all over the solar panels. I wonder if it gets... Oh, uh, he's done. That, that's it. That, that was his breath. I mean, he does have slime lungs, so I can understand why he might be having some troubles. How about if we just kind of bump the priority a bit? Let's also, in parallel, try something different. If we take these two blocks out, maybe they'll be able to uh, build this little airlock here. That that would be cool. Let's turn this down to a nine and see what they do with this. Okay, building it from the outside. I can respect that. I can respect that. Hicks doing it the way that I intended, though. <laughs> So I want to spill a very tiny drop of liquid right where Hicks is standing. So I'm going to try and build a little bit of a, a pipe coming out here and then a bridge going back so it drags some power through it, some liquid, sorry. Uh, nighttime, not very handy. Wait a minute, what, why is there polluted water here? Oh, we've got a problem. We've got a big problem. If we come in here and have a look, we've got no sand on this base. If we come over to your kill, though, we have got an awful lot of sand on the base. So I have gone ahead and put down a bunch of orders. You can see some gas pipes in the background there, but mostly to get this solo spacefarer nose cone up and running. I'm also coming into the skills and looking at Bishop. Bishop, my friend, has a bunch of skills that I'm interested in. Most importantly, though, he is a mechatronics engineer. So I'm going to give him level one rocket pilot tree as well, because he's going to come along and do this for me the toilet issue is is a very big issue thankfully we have a lot of dirt and i do believe in here we've got an outhouse let's enable that building and make sure it's turning over a couple of mobs keeping us company that's okay i suppose that's a lot of polluted dirt oh the problems are beginning so dr captain subs is the first to full victim this is a big shame Right, the robots, uh, the, the robot, the rocket's just been built over here. I believe this means that I can uh, start doing things. I'm going to pause the game for a sec. We need to build a, a little bit of a rocket enclosure here, a travel system for our boy Bishop. I, I, I hope he'll be fine. I'm not sure how I want to lay it out, though. Maybe like a bed at the top. The bed at the top sounds like an idea. He just needs to make a two-way journey, and then we're going to pull it all apart again. Algae terrarium, cot storage bin some somewhere for water do we just throw water on the floor if i go ahead and do bottle emptier and then just literally throw some water on the floor and pick it up and yeah i think this will work but whilst we're panicking about that there is something else i want to show you uh, on the materials overlay i found the filtration medium overlay uh, looking around it's a lot of gray there's there's a lot of lot of gray but there are two tiles underneath this ship here I, I've got a feeling this is going to be some trouble to get it, but we uh, we, we need those toilets. <laughs> we'll try digging this one out. I mean, obviously we'll give the orders anyway, but we need to make sure that people are coming down here with the highest priority. We've been handed something of a gift. I am back over on Toranu here. We've got some blueprints to choose. A lava egg. This is exactly what I wanted to have down here. Actually, I want to move them over to this side. But I've, now that I've done that, can we deconstruct? We can't deconstruct. Is that, is that not a thing I can break? Oh, well. Now we've just got to wait for them to ink it. Look, look at that already. They're already going. We'll uh, call them over to here. I don't know where we'll be able to get them to groom, but we want to put an airlock up uh, and probably another one over here to try and encourage them down and into this oily area. On the rocket front, everything has been built and we are trying to make sure it is full of everything we need. Of course, filtration medium will just take all the sand we've got. And of course, we made a whole bunch of manufactured material to go with us. A whole load of steel. I'm a little bit worried about Hicks and his rage radiation exposure i mean how high can it go before he has some big problems the, these are questions well, anyway he's managed to make his way down to the little probe here i uh, just about to start digging out the regolith which will bring us some uh, filtration medium also over at your kill we are pouring water on the floor because that's the obvious way of dealing with it in fact once this has been poured out here i think that will be enough to see us through i need to get some food in here and then we're ready to roll the end of the uh, filtration apocalypse appears to be upon us. Hopefully this will do it. Beautiful. All right. Is, is this actually going to get moved or is Hicks going to do a whole bunch of other stuff? I mean, how, how do we find out? Everyone's like, nah, that's that's not my job, mate. Okay, so they were too busy taking care of sinks, so I gave them a bit of a, an alert blast to get them onto the job. I need them to get on. Okay, beautiful. That's, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. I'm now going to do a 
pretty big jump ahead to tidy up all these things we've been doing. Okay, we've got power. We've got a way of dealing with the liquids. We're just about to bring down some uh, some ordinary water to deal with the carbon. But this is very nearly ready to go. If I up the priority, can we actually see someone bringing some stuff to it? I, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's, let's actually force the issue, shall we? Okay, Hicks coming down, grabbing some lumber. This is what it's all going to be working from, is the lumber that we just have lying around. He comes along and he pops it into the distillery here. Uh, it does a little animation. Is that enough or is that... Oh, it works on its own beautiful beautiful we are taking lumber producing ethanol and polluted dirt okay that that's great it's then moving its way into this petroleum generator oh yeah lovely which is then providing power via this line that we've just put in down the back oh, that's that's great that's amazing oh and and this is the whole point the whole purpose of this we're, we're getting water there's the polluted water drops down out of here this pump picks it up uh, and ships it off this way but with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to be honest with you, I was expecting to get more done in this episode, but emergencies have erupted all over the place. Next time, we'll be sending uh, Bishop along in this rover here, uh, this rocket, sorry, called Rover here. Uh, he, of course, coming from Yakil with a whole bunch of steel and sand. We'll come up with a better way of dealing with that. Indeed, this will be leading to a better way of dealing with that. What I also wanted to do was lead all the polluted uh, water that came from this pump here and actually bring it over to this collection of puffs we have and maybe drop it down to make as much polluted oxygen as possible to make a, a serious collection of slime so we can grow some more mushrooms. That, that's kind of what it's all been about. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.